A flowering, a flourishing U.S. manufacturing sector is simply crucial to our competitive strength, and it will continue to be a key source both of economic growth and of jobs. <laughs> manufacturing pays higher than average wage, wages, provides the bulk of U.S. exports, and protects also national security. The manufacturing sector is also the biggest source of innovation in our business economy. 67% of all the business R&D in America is done by manufacturing companies. That's why I've adopted one phrase as a central organizing principle for my priorities as Commerce Secretary. Some of you have heard me say this before. I say it again and again. I want, we want at the Commerce Department, we want across the administration to build it here and sell it everywhere. Build it here and sell it everywhere. If we do that, we can retain and even enhance our U.S. economic preeminence. Build it here and sell it everywhere means, of course, helping U.S. companies sell more of what they make to the 95% of the world's consumers who live outside our borders. Through the National Export Initiative, we're doing just that, and we're now on track. After two years, we're on track to meet the President's goal of doubling exports by the end of 2014. But I will underscore with you, this is a nonstop challenge. We have to continue to intensify. So we have three more years. First two years, we've had increases 16% in exports, then 17% in exports. This month's announced this morning. Results were not very good for the month of November. That's, there will be ups and downs. This is a undertaking where we have to constantly focus, constantly find new means of taking this further. And I will say, of course, the free trade agreements, the Korean free trade agreement, for example, very important in our ability to take that further. So building it here also means attracting and retaining more investment so that companies are building their factories here in America. And it means doing everything we can to strengthen U.S. manufacturing and particularly advanced manufacturing. Because if American businesses stop building things here, it won't be long before the actual innovating happens somewhere else. <clears throat>